I'm now going to do the complete process of measuring a foot using the bespoke orthopedic method in one go. Okay, so David, if you would stand on the papers. I've got two pieces of paper. I'm just going to do the left foot, but if I was doing both feet, I want to do them both at once so that what I do here, I do here, and it's all um, uh, balanced. So I'm going to roll up the trousers so I can make sure that uh, I can see all around the ankle. And I check with the client whether the, uh, the hose, the socks, or the whatever is being worn is the appropriate sock for the tour boot that's going to be worn. For instance, if David was going to have a fell boot, he might want to have thick socks on. So making sure that there's paper all the way around the foot. I'm now going to trace the foot with a pen. This pen is seven millimeters wide. And that's important to make a note. So I'll just write seven millimeter pen. And that's important because the point of the pen is going to be three and a half or half of seven out from the edge of the foot. So I need to know that the pen mark is three and a half millimeters here, three and a half millimeters here, and three and a half millimeters here, larger than the foot. Okay. So I want the heel cup to be one complete sweep. So I start on the inside or the medial side and I come around. And as I go, I make sure the pen is vertical and held firmly against the edge of the foot. It's going to do it in one complete move. Sometimes you'll catch the inner ankle bone, but that's fine, and that's done. This is a size stick, and uh, if you don't have a size stick, you can just push a matchbox up against the end of the toe and mark where the uh, bottom of the matchbox is. But we have this beautiful tool, and so David is now standing. So as I push that in, I can see that the standing measure is 262. So I go ST for standing, 262. Okay, so that's done. Um, so now I'm holding uh, David's foot. So David, if you could sit, please. So now that foot hasn't moved on the paper. Pick up the size stick. And now I move in and we have 259. So SI for sitting is 259. So what's happened there is when David was standing, his arch came down. You see how my foot gets long. And then when he sat, the weight came off, so his arch came up a bit. And so his foot got a bit shorter. So those two measures tell us the amount of spring that's still in the arch. You know, four millimeters difference or three millimeters difference is very good. Um, so uh, no worries there. So now we're going to use the tape measure to do the circumference. Because David's sitting, I'm going to slide under. And there's the fifth metatarsal and the first metatarsal. Now, palpating in there, I can actually feel the joint in a way that um, visually you can't see. So it's a very felt process. And I can even move the toe, move the toe and feel where the metatarsal ends and where the proximal phalange of the toe begins. So I can actually feel exactly where the um, foot is going to bend. And I lay the tape on and um, I pull it until it feels right. See, I could go, you know, as much as 262, but that feels too loose. Or I could tighten it right down to 256, but I think that might be a bit tight for David. So my feeling is around about 259 millimeters is the right pressure. Because the measure I write here will be the size of the last. The size of the last will be the size of the inside of the shoe. So what turns off the inside of the tape becomes the inside of the shoe. So I'm actually gauging how much pressure I want to have on that shoe. So I'm going to write 259. Then you remember the next one was behind the joint. So it comes around a bit because now I'm going at a slightly different angle. 
So it's still the fifth metatarsal phalangeal joint, the fifth ball joint of the, the fifth toe, but it's moved around slightly because um, we've moved around the sphere. But in here I'm palpating and feeling that little adductor hallucis uh, muscle in there, the soft tissue. That's the going on of the foot. And we remember we talked about how that's where the, as the heel goes through the quarters, this is the part where the shoe is held on and where the, where the foot can go into the shoe. So I'm feeling that. And I feel 249 is right for that. So I'm marking behind the joint and marking the fifth toe joint. 249. Okay, so just feeling along the fifth metatarsal and I can feel the base. So behind the base is the perineal notch. There's the lump of the base, and I want to come just forward of that, and I can feel the muscles of the digiti minimi abductor muscle that pulls the little toe out. Nice soft part of the foot that I can hold the shoe on with. And now my thumb, I come up the second metatarsal, the first metatarsal, there's like a groove in between. I come up, and suddenly that groove ends, and there's the first cuneiform and the second cuneiform. It's the second cuneiform I want, and I can just feel in there and feel the bone through all the uh, tendons and tissues, and I can feel the, the front, the anterior lipping, very, very distinctive. So I'm going from there to there. So bring the tape from there to there on top of that bone, and I'm just measuring that. And that's coming out at about, feels right at about 246. Laying that flat, tracing the tape both sides. So from this, I'll be able to tell when I'm making the last, everything forward of this is metatarsals and will not bend. Everything behind is little square bones like cuneiforms and navicular cuboid. These are where the flexing and the shock absorption is. So the fourth measure, I come back, and there's the perineal notch underneath there, and here's the top of the instep. You can see foot sweeps up, and suddenly it climbs the shin. Very, very distinct point. So in the perineal notch and around the top of the instep, and that is 258. So marking that, and write 258. Now, at some point, and I haven't done it yet, I could have done it earlier, but at some point, before the foot moves, I want to measure the arch. So there's two things I want to do. I want to hold the pen at 45 degrees to the base plane, to the paper, and the reason for that is, say I'm measuring there, where the pen hits the, uh, the paper and draws the line, because it's 45 degrees, from the, the edge of the foot to that line is the same as from the edge of the foot up, okay, because it's 45 degrees. And the other thing I want to do is keep the pen at 90 degrees as I come along. To, there's this, the axis of the foot, 90 degrees to the axis. And that's because I want the pen mark here to be represented directly by the pen mark inside. So a lot of people make the mistake of going like that. But of course, then, the, 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 then the, the, they don't know what part of the line is being represented. So 45 degrees and parallel to the, or 90 degrees to the axis, and I just come along in one sweep. Okay, so if David, if you lift your foot off, you can see there's the arch line. And so I know at that point, the from there to there is the same as from there to there because it's 45 degrees. So I know how high that arch is. The same here, that from there to there is the same as from there to there. So that's a very, very useful measure. And you can see how um, the, the foot comes underneath the, um, the ball joint. The ball joint curves under at that point. And then the uh, fifth and sixth measures to finish are around the heel bulb. So the same points we found, the second cuneiform bone, top of the instep, are the points that we're going to use for this measure. So again, I come up, find the two 
metatarsal bones come up where they end. There's the second cuneiform bone. Find the anterior lipping very accurately. Put zero, you see the zero there, straight on top of that. Then wrapping around, capturing the heel of the bulb and going on top. And there I have 361. See where the three, six, one crosses the zero. And so that's the long heel, L, H, long heel, three, six, one. Now, the top of the instep, I can put that there. See that where the, the uh, instep comes, ends, climbs up. That's where I don't want to go any higher with the lace panels on a shoe. So it's really important to know where that is. Uh, otherwise, you know, when you go to take a step, the, the, the laces dig into the, the foot. So hold it there. I come around, and this time I've got 339. So SH, short heel, 339. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six measures, two length measures. Now I just want to demonstrate why that uh, short heel measure is important. So if David lifts his foot, it's this short heel measure is the pass line for a boot. So if you're making a Wellington boot or a, a zip-up boot uh, or, you know, elastic-sided boot, this is where the foot just squeezes through and then the heel pops down. It's called the choke or the going on or the throat of the boot. So that short heel is a very critical measure. So if we take the foot off, here we have uh, a standing length, a sitting length, a trace of the foot, and we know that that trace is three and a half millimeters larger than the foot. And then we have the uh, joint measure from the first toe joint to the fifth, the uh, behind the joint, fifth toe joint to behind the joint, instep measure going from the in, just forward of the base of the fifth metatarsal. So we know that the base of the fifth metatarsal is sitting right in there. That's really important to know. And that's wrapping around the first cuneiform. And then in the perineal notch is the top of the instep measure. And then we have the long heel measure to the cuneiform and the short heel measure to the top of the instep. So now I know that as the, we go up into a high heel, this gets further and further forward, but the bend line is always there. I also know that as the shoe gets higher, that the crank of the shoe, that the, the foot bends in there, and that's where you, know, you get pronation and supination and all that occurs. I know very, very accurately, in a way that you couldn't with a scan, I can predict every shape that the foot will take as it walks, as it jumps, as it stands, as it sits, and as it runs from this simple drawing.